Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to do some experiments with these three resistors and we're going to apply Ohm's Law and Kirchhoff's Law and see how they react. So first, uh, this will be known as resistor 1, 2, and 3. Let's measure them to get their actual values. That is incorrect. So we start with resistor number 1. Bring in the meter here so you can see it where we're at. And number 1 is... Uh, we'll call it 219K. It's a 220K resistor nominally, but that's the actual value. And we do want to know the actual values. So that's what we're doing here. Resistor number two. Six hundred seventy eight ohms. Six seven eight R and resistor number three. Come on, resistor number three, what do you got for us? 4.7K. Okay, so now that we have those values, we can add them all together. And we get 2, 2, 4, three, seven, eight, K. So that's our total resistance of the circuit, 224 K. Now let's wire this circuit up in parallel. So from the power to the first resistor, and I can do it like this so that you really understand that it's parallel from the power to the second resistor. From the power to the third resistor. And then the same here. From that side to ground. From that side to ground and from that side to ground. So now our circuit is wired in parallel. And if we were to draw the circuit, it would simply look like this. That's our circuit. Now we're going to apply some power to it. We're going to put in six volts and about 50 to 60 milliamps. Okay. So put the power into the circuit. And now we're going to read the voltage of the circuit. So let's start and we'll read the voltages that we're putting in before any of the resistors you can see we are getting 6.036 volts. And then if we read the voltage across the first resistor we get the same reading. I know it's off by a couple millivolts, but that's just the way things happen in the real world. It's nominally the same. And then the voltage across the second resistor. Are you seeing a pattern here? And the voltage 
across the third resistor. The same. So let's write those values here into our chart. We'll call that 6.04. 6.04. Now we're going to use Ohm's law to calculate those currents. So our formula is, of course, I equals V over R. So our first one, 6.04 divided by, hold on a second while I'm working on the calculator over here, divided by 219,000. And when we calculate it out, we get 0 0.027 milliamps. All right, let's do the second one. And we get 0 0.008 milliamps. And the third, 0 0.008. One. So now we can calculate our total current for the circuit as well. And IT equals 0.036. So now that we've calculated out all of these values, we know the total resistance of the circuit. We know the total current of the circuit, and we know the total voltage of the circuit. You can also calculate the power. Let's think, what else can you calculate? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> you can calculate the power of the circuit. But now, you understand how the voltage is constant in a parallel circuit, but the current changes based on Ohm's law of voltage divided by resistance. What happens in a series circuit? Leave your answers down below and we'll talk about it in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.